Hi, I'm Pat North, and I'm going to talk to you today about image target characterization. And this can be a number of different parameters of interest. So for example, this is the what, when, and where. So for an imaging type of application, I might have a number of different cameras looking at some target of interest. And that target of interest could be moving around and it could be doing a whole bunch of different things. And the when and the where, that's easy. You know, what position it is it in and what time. But when I'm thinking about imaging systems, that's a what did it look like. So for this target of interest, what did it look like? And those are the radiometric properties. So those include things like size, shape, temperature, and the material that it's made out of them. And all of these low-level parameters feed into a radiometric tool to generate a high-level target signature. And that's a function of time. You know, what time are we talking about? What angle are we looking at this from? And then what spectral wavelengths of interest are we looking at? So this all feeds into what is it, when is it there, what is it doing, how is it moving, and this target signature is then the phenomenology that we can start to exploit with our imaging systems. But this is looking at purely at the modeling and simulation half of it. You can also look at things from a, from a forensic analysis perspective as well. So your modeling and simulation you can say, I have sample data, and I want to exploit this. I'm not sure what this target of interest is doing, but if I have a modeling and simulation aspect, I can plug in different sizes, shapes, temperatures, and material characteristics to try and match to existing data to forensically try and deduce what hypothesis fits this data best. And that's it. Thanks for watching.